The new comet that we've been talking about for the last few days has now been given an official designation, Comet C2025F2 Swan. And this image was taken on April 6th by the Michael Yeager, who has captured so many amazing comet images over the years. And this is just another one under his belt. It looks really cool, looks really green. And now we have enough data that we can actually add the comet to Stellarium and track it ourselves. And according to the COPS database, we can see that the comet will start getting brighter and brighter as it gets closer to both the sun and the earth. And as we can see, it'll get brighter and brighter and it'll probably cap out at around mag six. And for those of us in the Northern hemisphere, we'll be able to see it before sunrise. Let's quickly add comet C225F2 Swan into Stellarium. You can go to that menu option two different ways, but they'll lead you to the exact same location. So on the left-hand side, you can either do sky and viewing options, go into SSO and click on solar system editor, or the way I usually direct people is to go to configuration window instead, go to plugins, go all the way to the bottom and click on solar system editor. It's like three from the bottom. And you can click configure here. The reason I tell people to go here is because sometimes it's not selected to load at startup. So if this is not selected here, it won't load in the other location either. So make sure this is selected. If it's not, click on it, restart Stellarium, and then you click on, come back here and click on configure. So in here, we can see three different tabs. We're gonna to go to the solar system tab and the Comet C2025 is not going to be listed here because we haven't added it yet. And we're going to go to Import Orbital Elements in MPC Format. Make sure Comets is selected here. The last time I showed this, I, I think quite a few people forgot to, this option here, so make sure Comets is selected. From the Download Source, click on the Gideon Van Buitenen Comets. I'll put this link in the description below as well, but this should automatically come with Stellarium. If it doesn't, just enter the URL and then click on get orbital elements and that could take a couple of seconds to run and once that's run you we get this window here which says import data and we can just search for 2025 or you can actually search for swan it'll give you fewer options so you can search for the whole name and we're going to click on c 2025 f2 swan click on add objects we can now close this and now on this list here in the solar system list here, we can now see C2025F2 Swan here. So now we can just close this. We'll close this. And I have to click on our search window. So it'll be search window. We can now search for C2025. F2 Swan. So it looks like F2 is already there. And click on Swan. It's below the horizon. So now let's move forward in time. And there it is. So around like 4.13, this is where it will be. And if we quickly look at what happens to the comet over the next days and weeks, we can see that it's going lower and lower into the horizon. Of course, we can also compensate for that by looking later in the evening. But as you can see, the sky is getting brighter. So the farther we go, the lower it goes. And the harder it'll become to see up until maybe the you know the 28th and then it'll get eaten up by the sunlight even though it's expected to be a magnitude to about like 5.81 because of how low it is on the horizon uh, it'll, it'll still be worth checking out if you do get to see it or if you do get to take an image of it please let me know check the description for a link to our discord server hop on we all love comments there good luck and clear skies